Hello, um, in this video I'm going to make a, a uh, basic tutorial on the Python programming language. Um, you'll learn um, a few basics of Python and you'll learn how to make memes with Python. Um, and uh, uh, first, so Python is a programming language <coughs> that computers use to run programs. Programs, obviously applications that run on a computer, and the programming language is what runs everything. Uh, very important uh, to know about if you want to do any kind of software development, if you want to have control over your computer. Um, it's, uh, it's sort of like empowering to know how uh, computers work and how to um, get them to do whatever you want. You can make them you make them speak, you can make them display memes for example, um, make games is a common thing people like to do um, but uh, obviously there's also practical applications, you know, software, like you know, Microsoft Office is obviously made with a soft programming language and your favorite apps on your phone are made with a programming language. Um, so if you, if, if you want to enter into that world of how software is made if you want to, to understand how how the software on your devices runs um, then I can give you a basic introduction <coughs> uh, Python is is a very popular language uh, one of the most popular languages in the world it's not actually used a lot to make apps but it is used a lot to run backend like web web servers, um, it's used to do data manipulation. People use it in maths and science. Um, it's also a very good prototyping language. If you just want to make anything, whatever you can imagine, Python often ends up being the the programming language that that gives you the best results. Um, anyway, so if you want. To get Python, first thing go to python.org. Uh, if you're on Windows platform, uh, download it. Download the latest one, and then uh, obviously I've already got it installed. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. There's an extra um, option. It says to add to path, which is very important, so that it'll work with uh, work with um, the terminal which is important um, and then you can use your favorite text editor um, I like Visual Studio Code because it has a million and one features so one thing about programming is um, is you deal with a lot of uh, file management so you have to get good at the file manager. So I'm going to create a new folder in meme gen, which I'll just mess around with. So da, 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 da. And we'll open that folder. A lot of programming projects you tend to organize it into a folder. So then I'll in, then I'll create a new file, main.py, can be called anything, doesn't matter. Um, so some of the basics of programming, if you've not ever done programming before, um, one of the most important concepts is variables. So a variable is a container for data. Data could be a number, a word, 
or a single character like a single letter like A, B, C or a character is like a single element of a string and a string is text so like a text string could be A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 could be any num number of letters, characters and symbols so then you can call that um, string equals that and then you can go print print in Python will display text on the screen string now the tricky part for beginners is running the code which is not super straightforward um, I would use like a Python IDE but you're ultimately going to end up using a real programming editor when you get into um, programming so you might as well learn it early but anyway so you create a new terminal in Windows I'm just using the Windows command prompt which a lot of people are like oh, terminals command prompts it's uh, daunting um, <coughs> but at the end of the day it's really just text so you go python which will run the code main.py which is the which is that file here and it will run it so there it says printed out you see one two three blah 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 um and uh, so what it's done is it's taken that string of data there put it into a variable and then displayed that variable so if I change that to hello world and save the file I'm going to always save the file I'll say hello world um, <coughs> And then a very useful thing in programming is functions. So um, if you want to do something multiple times, or if you just want to clean up your code and make it look nice and readable, you can do this. So def means definition, I believe. It's Python's uh, Python's um function way of doing functions functions obviously they can contain code so got def print hello you got the you got the uh, bracket there to tell the tell python that it's a function and then the thing about python that some people are not a huge fan of is it relies on uh, spaces to structure your code so in a lot of older programming languages you would have um, example in C which you don't have to worry about that would have a curly bracket and then all the code runs in the curly brackets you don't have to worry about spaces and tabs and things like that it will just do it uh, but in Python see if I have weird spaces that are, that are uneven it'll complain but I haven't saved it the indentation error and so by default you just press the tab key on your keyboard and it will space it by one tab space which is four spaces some people get a bit antsy about whether it's a tab space or four spaces it's just how it does it so then you can go print hello and it will then oh it is, and then it will then uh, 
do what I did before. And then you can do it twice. Um, and that's that's uh, that's functions and variables. So I'm just going to skip to the fun part, which is making memes. So one of the great strengths of Python is the libraries. You can there's a library for just about everything, including making memes apparently. So <clears throat> um, assuming you've got this set up right and you can Google how to do it if it doesn't quite work right um, you can go pip install and I found a good uh, library where is it gone that's not it that's not it this is it meme pie so this is all you got to do. Um, pip is the pip command is the package manager for Python, which installs libraries. And libraries are like bits of code that do useful things that you can add into your program to make it more interesting, um, and it helps you lift a lot of a lot of weight without having to write everything yourself. Um, it's something that um, bigger software companies tend to avoid because that means they're relying on other people's code. But I won't get into that right now. We'll just do this for fun. Hi. So I've already installed it, but that's what it will do. So we will leave that there. We'll create a new function called make meme. And uh, I have not covered this, but make meme call it image. Now to use the meme pie library <coughs> you need to bring it into your pro to your your source code so that you can gain access to its abilities so we go from meme pi port meme generator which is a specific class and I won't go too much into classes other than to say they are like a container of functions and variables that you can reuse similar to, ver to, to functions but um, are used in a sort of a more um, abstract way like you, you you want you want a special class that does all these different things um, Anyway, that's a more advanced thing that you can learn about later. But anyway, the first to, to make a meme image, we go meme generator dot, and that accesses any of the components within that class, including variables, but um, mainly the functions. So save meme to disk. Now that automatically completed because I pressed the tab key and that saves a lot of typing um, so in this example we'll use the finally meme which is this one so make it bigger what that's all right this is it yeah anyway we'll go big there so that's that's the first argument here. You can see the template. And this is why I like Visual Studio Code because it has lots of uh, helper functions. Now the path. Again, uh, in programming, learning about file systems is very important. 
and dot just means the current directory that you're in, the current folder that you're in. Now I'm going to add the funny bit of text to the meme. Made with nothing. Now we can go uh, make meme image. And then we go Python meme by. We've now got this meme here, which is that. Now, you probably find that having to open up the file is a bit of effort. Why not make the computer open it for you? So, another library you can install is called Pilo, which is for managing images. And I've already installed it, but uh, now, and we can bring that in. Pill, which is what it's formerly called. Call it image. Now we can display theme image. So, here we are using variables again. This is to hold the image file so that's now got the meme file which we just generated holding it in this little im variable so variable is just to read to uh, expand upon it can be more than just uh, numbers, letters, it can also be objects and classes and arrays. Arrays are like lists of, of variables. So in this case this is holding an object which is like a class I guess, a class like this meme generator class. Um, it will then give you extra abilities um, so now we go dot show and it will then display it so we can go display image and tada it opens it for you <coughs> now to do something extra fancy when I grew up I had an Amiga computer and one of the coolest things it could do was speak. You could enter text and it would say things and uh, I remember having to put in a floppy disk that would load the text-to-speech program but then if you wanted to make the computer programmatically speak so you want to write a program to make it say different things you had to put in the Amiga basic floppy disk and then write your code and then when it wanted to and you, you told it to speak you had to then put in the workbench um, floppy disk which had the speak ability you don't have to do that anymore so you can now install a library so where are we? Yep. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, do, 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 there it is. Pi TTSX3, which is a bit easier than using floppy disks. And I already got it installed. So, so um, so here's the magic. Oh uh, yeah, of course you got to import it. In this case, we're just importing the whole functionality of of PyTTSX3 because it's written in a way that uh, isn't split up into different functions like this meme generator is. 
or the pill image like in pill has all kinds of different functions we only really needed the image one for this so but in PyTT SX3 we want everything because all it really does is speak so that's what we want now this is just the code that um, that you're supposed to write so you've got to do this engine equals by tds3 dot init which will set up the text -to speech engine now we can get it to say which is not the most elegant syntax um, not the most elegant way of doing it. I remember in the old Amiga basic way it was just say and then word word ah, words and that was it but programming these days has come a long way and now we have to do things a bit more complicated but at least in Python it uh, is a lot simpler than other languages this is why I'm introducing programming with Python because it is one of the simplest and I actually use it a lot in my work but um, that just goes to show how expandable it is, um, how many different things it can do. Anyway, so I'm going to make it say finally means need with Python. And then have to go do this extra bit at the end. Run and wait. Now I'm going to do something that I do a lot in programming, which is copy and paste. All right, so it will make the image, display it, and speak it. Let's see what it does. Oops, wrong one. Finally, memes made with Python. So hopefully you heard that. It can speak. And that's it. That's my demo for Python. Um, if you'd like to see more programming videos, um, leave a like or comment on this video and uh, I might make more. Or if you have any ideas or things you want to learn that aren't too complex, because some things require a lot of complexity, but with Python it obviously it makes it pretty simple, so I can see what I can do. But uh, Anyway, I hope you learnt something. Um, see you later.